Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now several viewers have asked me, they're like, hey man, how do you adjust how do you adjust color saturation levels? How do you make the color in your drone videos, your GoPro videos, your A7R2 videos, etc., how do you make the colors really pop? And it's actually not that difficult. Now, I'm demonstrating with the current the most current version of Final Cut Pro 10 at the time of uh, filming this video, so that's February the 18th of 2017. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and in this example, I'm going to go through, through several types of footage. This right here was filmed with a Sony a7R II. I've got this one that was filmed with a GoPro Hero 5 Session. Uh, then I've got another clip that was, that was filmed with the a7R II GoPro Hero 5 Session. And then this is the DJI Phantom 4 Drone. So we're going to hit a, a variety of... Uh, of examples within this video and I hope this helps. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I've got uh, I've got a lot more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial videos coming soon and I've already got quite a few out there. So for starters we're going to do this clip. This is Manhattan. I filmed this while aboard the uh, Staten Island Ferry with my Sony a7R2. So over here to the right and again this is the most current version of Final Cut Pro 10 so if you haven't updated the, uh, the place that you go to access this may be in a different location. They've changed uh, with the minor updates with Final Cut Pro 10. They've changed the location to quite a few things. So click this thing right here. It looks like, uh, uh, let's see, is this one right here. This little, those, looks like two little boxes. It says show or hide the effects browser. So I think you could also get there by doing command key 5. So once you're there, you're going to want to go to video effects. And the effect we're wanting is under the color. So it's color correction. So what I'm going to do is drag color correction on top of this clip. Now once I've done that, we can then go up here to the, uh, the video inspector. So that little, if it's not already on, it's that little film strip looking thing. Once you do that, where it says color correction, you've got color board and there's an arrow. Click that arrow. Once you've clicked that arrow, you've got several settings. Now the topic for this video is saturation. So let's go to saturation tab. Again, they've changed this quite a bit with the most current update of Final Cut Pro 10. This, is, uh, this has been a feature that they've always seemed to want to, uh, uh, to change. But in this version, you've got this bar over here. So watch, watch the skyline here of Manhattan. So if I take this bar down, wow, now you see it's almost what well, it is. It's black and white. But if I go up, and I'm going to go up slowly, just look at the buildings, look at the sky. Now look at that. Look at that. Completely different. Look at that. So I mean that almost, and let's play this clip so you can see, that looks somewhat fake because I've adjusted the saturation level so much. So for a more realistic scenario where I may want to go is, see the default, it kind of looked dull. Look at the One World Trade Center. That's the building right here. But if I take it up just a little bit, let me go back down. So I'm going to go way down and just watch me come up here. So just a little bit more than natural. And you're going to see now those buildings, the, the colors really separate. You can really see what looks really neat. And again, it's as you can tell, it's easy to go overboard with this. Like that right there, that looks fake because I've I've adjusted the saturation so much. And then at the other end of the scale, that's black and white. Now, depending upon the look that you want to give your video, there may be a situation where you would want to go to an extreme. Now, let's look at this one. So this right here was with GoPro Hero 5 Session. And there I am in the pool right there. See? Right there. That's me. And actually, let's get it to where I'm in the pool because I had slight a, uh, quite a uh, sunburn. So let's notice a few elements of this right here. You got the umbrella. You got the cloudy sky. You got the blue water. You got the sunburn me. So again, just drag this color correction onto the, uh, onto the clip. And then I can adjust. If I go down, again, black and white. Although this is black and white, it still has... It's Well, it is black and white, but see, now if I go up just a little bit, look at this roof right here. So now we're at the extreme most position. 
But if I go up just a hair, now it's kind of an interesting thing because it's, it's not really black and white. If one looked at this, they may say, oh, that's black and white. But if you look at this roof, it's got a red color to it. And this building over here has got a red color. So now let's bring it up more. So see, now we're getting... You definitely can tell this is color now, but the colors aren't... When I look at this, I don't think that, that I'm looking at a uh, tropical island St. Barth. You know, I'm looking at, I'm looking at just kind of a, a dull environment. And that's where color can come into play. So if you were using, if you were creating a video and you wanted to give it more of a sinister look, you know, you may would want to go to a level like this. Just the normals right around there. But if you really wanted to make the color saturate, okay, so look at this. Normals right around there. Notice this vegetation and the water and everything when I go way up. Look at that. Now that looks fake because I've overdone the color saturation, but by doing so, now you're noticing these other elements in the hillside. You've got all the rooftops that are colorful. You've got the water, which is just super blue right now. Now watch as I go back down. Watch the hilltop. Watch this area right in here with the buildings. So see, when I go back down, those buildings, the color, they, they don't pop from the background like they do if I've really taken the... Uh, the saturation adjustment to the extreme and also these little dirt spots on the hillside you know when you're at the normal setting yeah you can see the dirt spots but when you take it way up the dirt spots become really pronounced so that's a GoPro clip uh, this right here is another Sony uh, a7R2 so this is from an airplane window and you'll be able to see here the same thing you know I go down I'm getting you know like a, a black and white type image if I go up a little bit, it's kind of like I got color, but it's more of a sinister look. And then I go to just right out of the camera, which, I mean, with with an A7R2 and a, and a Zeiss lens, in my opinion, just looks great. But if I want to add a little bit more to it, see, right out of the camera, if you look at here, if you look at this island, this is uh, this is St. Martin right here. But if you look at, uh, if you look at St. Martin, and now I bring this up, now look at that. See how much bluer the water is? See how much more color there is if we're looking at the island and the water and the clouds? Let me take it back down so you can see that again. So that's right out of the camera right there, which looks good. But in this scenario, when you bring it up considerably, it doesn't look fake, but it just looks really cool because you got the blue, you got the green, you got the clouds that are white, you got the sky. But now let's take it to an extreme situation. So in this situation, even going to the extreme all the way up with a color saturation adjustment, that's too much. But with this situation, with an island and water and sky, it doesn't look as fake as it would in, other, in the previous examples that we looked at, like the New York City skyline. That was kind of, that was kind of a bad... Uh, that would be a, a place where I would not want to go to the extreme. But in this... If this was a video that I was editing for one of my YouTube videos, out of the camera would be fine, but by bumping it up just a little bit, I really get those different, uh, you know, I really make those colors look great. And something else I didn't notice, look at the water. So let's come up, look at the water down here as I go up. And see right there, you can really see the differences in the watercolors. You got a light blue, you got a dark blue. Obviously that's created by a reef and whatnot that's under the under the water. And then when we land here on the on the runway, this is uh, Princess Juliana Airport in St. Martin. Look at this look at this part of the shot right here. So you got the the colorful buildings. Again if I took it down, that's just kind of dull and dead looking the grass and the buildings right out of the camera. It looks good, but it's still kind of dull. I bump it up a little bit. Now the grass really comes to life. The buildings come to life. The clouds, the water. This right here is GoPro Hero 5 Session. So that's me. I'm at a place called Pinel Island, which is in the, uh, in the French West Indies. And you can see here there's a color on the beer bucket, the beer bottles, and the water. This is the setting right here, right out of the camera. So... You know, obviously, if I took it down, I go to a black and white type deal, bring it up a little bit, kind of that sinister look. But if I bring it up, now I'm really getting, it's, now see, that looks bad. 
all the way up because my, my skin tones are really messed up. But right out of the camera, in my opinion, it's not saturated enough. So in this scenario, I would, I would likely bring it up just a little bit. Now I've got the really nice green in the, uh, in the mountains in the background. And I've got all these colors right here look good in my opinion. So it's, you know, this just illustrates how it varies among, um, among environments and, and the camera it's being used. So this right here is a drone. And you can see here, right out of the camera, it's kind of, kind of dull. But if I bring it up a little bit, I can really make those colors look good. Look at that. See, again, right out of the camera. And you can see right here to the right this percentage. So you'll know what percentage you've gone down. So that's 100% down, that's 100% up. And something you may learn if you're using the same cameras for, for multiple situations, you may, uh, you may start to learn that camera and know that, you know, hey, on this DJI Phantom 4, maybe if, if I'm doing something tropical, maybe about 19% tends to look really good. You know, it's it, it brings the colors out, but it doesn't make it look, uh, doesn't adjust the saturation so much that it looks fake. See, this right here, in my opinion, is great because you can see the reef. You can see the colors of the reef, the different colors of the water, the, uh, the greenery. You can see everything. And then we'll get over here. You can see the boats that are out here. You can see all the boats. And then the really deep blue water in the background, the water in the uh, in the Caribbean. You're dealing with you're dealing with Caribbean waters, but you're also dealing with uh, with the ocean and the the depth of the water makes the the water look different. See, it's a really dark blue, and then this up here is green, blue, all different colors. So this is one of my favorite things to adjust saturation for is is drone footage just because you can really you can capture an environment in a very unique way and um, and just really tweak those colors so, I mean just look at that and see this right here you know I could bring it way up see now how green that is in this scenario taking it to the extreme may be okay because it gives you know it brings everything to life with that green. Likewise, if I want to give it a sinister look, I could, I could bump it down to where it's not black and white, but it's it's on the edge of that, you know. And see the water. Look at the water. How sinister that is in the, in the island. But you bring it up, you can just make it, you know, look like a tropical paradise like that. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is just saturation. There's a lot of other color adjustments that one can make, in uh, in Final Cut Pro 10 and. And a lot of people have asked, you know, well, why, why do you always use Final Cut Pro 10? And, and the reason is, it's just an easy tool for me to use. I've found that, you know, as I've illustrated here, it's easy for someone with even a, a novice level understanding of video editing to go in, take that video from their camera, and adjust the, uh, the color saturation so that it, that it best suits uh, the look that they're trying to give that particular video clip, whether they're publishing it to YouTube or or, uh, or whatever. So I hope this video is of value. Again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And you can find a ton of other Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial videos too. This is just one of many. And if there's, excuse me, if there's something that, uh, that you'd like to see me address within an upcoming video, let me know and I'll add it to my, I'll add it to my video to-do list. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all, Irix Guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.